10 ways to get lucky in life. How to be luckier. Why do some people get it all? They get all the good things in life. They go to all the best places and meet the best people. They have everything work in their favor. I mean, they are just lucky. Have you ever found yourself thinking that way and wondering why luck hits the same set of people over and over again? Anyway, before you get so worked up trying to figure out other people's life, has it ever occurred to you that you can influence your luck? I mean, have you thought through the possibility of determining how lucky you can be in life? In this video, I'll share with you 10 ways to get lucky in life. How to be luckier. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Ray Kroc, the man who struggled hard to open hundreds of McDonald's branches across the US, said that luck is a dividend of sweat. The more you sweat, the luckier you get. Luck isn't something that comes upon a person. It's a result of your work. Aliyahu Goldrat said, Good luck is when opportunities meet preparation, while bad luck is when lack of preparation meets reality. Now that we've established that, let's talk about how to get lucky. 1. Think positively. Douglas MacArthur said, The best luck of all is the luck you make for yourself. Many studies have shown that people who think positively usually will encounter lucky events. They become lucky as a result of their thinking. Positive thinking changes your perspective and this changes your action as well. And when you change your actions, you'll get the corresponding results. For instance, imagine applying for some kind of financial support or grant. When you think positively that you will be awarded, you'll take actions that will help bring the dream to reality. So you can start by imagining that you'll have a great day and a great week and then watch how your actions will follow suit. Two. Visualize your beliefs. How well do you think you will perform at an interview, a quiz, a competition or any of the above if all you can think about right now is, what if I mess up? To get lucky in life, you need to visualize yourself as a lucky person. Visualization is when you picture yourself accomplishing something that you want. If you're going for an interview, try to think of how thoughtful your responses will be the whole time. And whatever you do, you must see the success first before you can make it happen. When you can see yourself being lucky, being strong, being a winner, then you can work backward to see what you need to do to make the image real. 3. Maximize opportunities According to Richard Wiseman, the author of Luck Factor, lucky people create, notice and act upon the chance opportunities in their lives. If you want to be lucky in life, you have to learn to be curious, ask questions, Observe. Be willing to learn and try out new stuff so that you can spot opportunities from afar and maximize them before anyone does. According to Wiseman, lucky people just try stuff. Lucky people suffer from paralysis by analysis. They wouldn't do anything until they walk through every single angle and by then the world has moved on. They don't gain the benefits of learning from doing. I'm a big fan of starting small trying lots of projects, seeing what works and what doesn't, and iterating based on feedback. 4. Surround yourself with the right people Your circle of friends matters a lot. If you surround yourself with fearless people, there's a tendency that you'll end up being like them and they will start taking up challenges. Most lucky people have the right set of people in their network as either their coach, mentors or friends. 5. Expect to be lucky you're more likely to try new things, follow through on opportunities and have them succeed if you believe they'll work out well. Lucky people are optimistic. Unlucky people, on the other hand, don't expect good things to happen to them because they don't deserve it, probably because of certain circumstances. For instance, imagine two people with no formal education, no diplomas or degree. While the first person considers himself unlucky because he has no qualification, Hence, success is not much of an option for him, the second decided to work twice as much as others because he's willing to do whatever it takes to succeed. Which of both parties will be lucky in life? Of course, the second person because unlike the first person, he expects to be lucky. You see, in life, the same situation can happen to two people with different expectations. Those that get to experience the good side 
Most of the times are those who expect to be lucky. 6. Practice gratitude. Melody Beattie said, Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It turns a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. The truth is that when we are grateful for the things we receive, we'll get more by expressing it more. Others will be more likely to want to do things for you because they know it will truly be appreciated. Think of some of the things that make you truly happy and start from there. It could be a friend, your job, your pet, or anything else. 7. Be proactive. When you become proactive about your life, you take charge of your life instead of blaming others for your poverty and failures. You give yourself the power to change your life. This is what lucky people do. They channel their lives in the direction they want to go, so they spot opportunities easily and take advantage of it because they know what they want. 8. Work Harder Thomas Jefferson once said, I am a great believer in luck, and I find the harder that I work, the more I have of it. Being lucky means the right person at the right place at the right time, and you can only have all of these factors work in your favor when you put in more work than the others. See it this way. When you put in more work to achieve a goal, chances are you will achieve it. For instance, when you work harder at winning a lottery than others, it'll be like hitting a jackpot when you win. But in the actual sense, you've allowed the factors of time, chance, and place to work in your favor. 9. Reduce stress. When we get stressed, we get distracted easily because our ambitions and optimism begins to shrink, making us focus on our needs. Unlike when we are relaxed and when we feel happy and are able to notice opportunities easily. So to avoid feeling pessimistic, make sure you de-stress from time to time. Thankfully, there are several ways to do that. You can exercise, meditate, or practice any other activity for mindfulness like yoga. 10. Keep trying. Remember Ray Kroc's words? Luck is a dividend of sweat. The more you sweat, the luckier you get. Look at it this way. Say you want to enter for a raffle ticket draw or a similar type of competition. Do you know that the amount of luck you need to win when you have a single entry is much greater than the amount you need if you enter a few hundred? So, the more you try, the better your chances of winning. Be consistent. Doing these things will make you become a lucky person. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you like this channel, we're happy to announce to you that our team has launched three other interesting channels. One of our new channels is called Hunt TV, where we publish inspirational videos to inspire and encourage you as you go through the harsh journey of life. Our second channel is called Fame TV, where we share with you the interesting and inspiring stories and biographies of the successful people who have achieved greatness with their lives. Our third channel is called Money TV, which is a channel designed to use more dramatic video clips to teach you about money. Look at the description box to join our three new channels. We love you.